Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. So today we are going to discuss a problem with name infinite pulley system and it's part one because there will be one more problem on the same uh, concept. Okay, so th this is a very standard problem. You would have seen it uh, at many places. Standard textbook and various competitive exams also this question has appeared and in uh, regular coachings also it has been asked many times. So let's go to the statement of uh, the problem and we'll be discussing uh, a smarter way of uh, solving this uh, question. So here is the statement of uh, the problem which is uh, given as an infinite pulley system having a system of point masses each of mass m is shown in the figure. There is no friction anywhere between the pulleys and the strings and all the strings are inextensible and massless. What will be the acceleration of point mass A, point mass A when system is released from rest? Now, so there are uh, many ways by which this question can be solved. Okay, so here I'm going to discuss uh, a technique where uh, equivalent mass of uh, pulleys will be written and this question uh, can be reduced into just few lines so let's discuss the concept part of it for a standard pulley mass uh, system as you can see in the diagram there is a pulley and two masses m1 and m2 are uh, connected with the help of a string here so here we are trying to define this effective mass of the pulley so this is a very standard problem and uh, i think all of you will be aware of uh, the solution of it so let's assume here m1 is going down with the acceleration of a so m2 will go with the same acceleration a upwards so equation of motion we can write for uh, mass m1 which is as uh, m1 g minus t is equal to m1 a similarly we can write for mass m2 which is uh, t minus uh, m2 g is equal to m2 a so when we solve this uh, these two equations we get a is equal to m1 minus m2 by m1 plus m2 and this tension t we are going to get as 2 m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 times g. So th this t is the tension in the string here. So the tension in the connecting string which is connecting it to the ceiling to the support that is going to be 2t because uh, pulley is massless. So corresponding to that uh, this pulley this tension t in this pulley this tension t dash we can write it as m effective times g so uh, from here on solving we will be getting this uh, m effective as 4 m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 which is double of the tension in the string here so entire system we can uh, replace whenever we are going to see such type of system. So we can uh, uh, replace this pulley system and this mass system uh, with the overall mass of 4 m1 m2 by m1 plus m2. Let's move to the question. Now we are going to solve this question here. So as you can uh, see in the diagram, uh, the mass A, its mass was given as m. Now rest of the pulleys up till infinity I am covering in this uh, red curve red dotted curve and I am calling this mass as m effective ok now from the next mass till infinity again its effective mass is going to be same because pulleys are infinite in number so even in this case that mass is going to be m effective so now if you look at this pulley p2 in the sideways diagram we can see here on this pulley p2 one side there is mass of uh, m which is hanging here and other side there is mass of m effective which is hanging here and this mass also at the connecting uh, top this mass also is uh, going to be m effective into g so the uh, mass will be m effective and tension is going to be m effective into g so if we simplify this uh, part by using concept of uh, m effective again so we are going to get m effective is equal to 4 m into m effective divided by m plus m effective as i have written here so if we simplify this we are going to get 
m plus m effective as 4m so from here we are going to get this uh, m effective value for this uh, system as 3m now this uh, m effective part will reduce this question to a very simple problem where just uh, two masses are present in a pulley so one side this uh, mass m is present its acceleration we have to find out and this entire assembly up to infinity has been replaced by a mass of 3m so now this is a very simple problem here directly we can write its acceleration is going to be m2 minus m1 by m1 plus m2 times g if you substitute the value of uh, m1 m2 we are going to get this answer as uh, g by 2 which is the answer for this uh, particular problem i hope you have enjoyed this uh, video if you have uh, liked please subscribe my channel also please uh, share it with uh, your friends teachers and uh, you know thank you thank you very much for all the support you are showing thank you very much